Hey guys, the quick look ahead of the events for the week to come, starting the week of July 7th. It, this one is kind of a very interesting event, so let's get into it. I, I'm i going to say that I forgot to take a, a screenshot of the mini game itself, and uh, I didn't save enough tries to do one on stream or on video, so I'll have to run through it as like describing it. So anyway, first we're going to start with the regular event. We've got Wheel for Minotaur and Lexar. Uh, there's no event currency in the wheel, sadly, so once again, people saving their wheel tokens are kind of screwed. I don't know. Maybe you should just pull the first time they ever put anything in here. Pfft, it doesn't make sense lately. Uh, next, we have Forge Master. Again, full skip. Next, we have Phoenix and Themis in the Soul Shop. Phoenix for 8,000, Themis for 12,000. If you have tons of spare souls, uh, Phoenix is really good for beginners and mid-range players. Themis is only good for really, really late game when she's totally maxed out and everything. Otherwise, not really all that useful at high-end meta, especially with Nyx, you know, being what he is. But Phoenix, at least, is still a strong PvE support, so definitely worth buying Phoenix if you can buy if you can spare the souls um that is it for regular events so let's go into the the week the new event so you can see here that there's no idle currency well you can't see it but you don't get any for free they don't give you anything for free it's kind of weird but okay so this is the mini no where is it no this one okay this one is the mini game. So every day you get two tries and one try is actually two plays of the game. I don't know why they didn't just make it one try, one play, but it's very confusing. But anyway, so when you click this, you basically have a, a bar that's sliding back and forth and you have to stop it in a range. They give you a range that, that shows like blue and purple and like a yellow center and you have to stop it in the yellow center. Uh, it doesn't move terribly fast and also it goes back and forth so you don't need to like rush and make sure you hit it the first time you see it so as long as you take your time with it it should be easy to get the the perfect center every single time so anyway here is what the score looks like if you get it in the exact center you get a hundred crystals and four points and then if you get it in the one right off, you get 90 and 3, and then there's all these levels below that. So there's two different current, two different progress meters that we have to look at. So the first one is at your score. So this is the score. So given that you get two free tries every day, that's 28 total tries. That means if you per land a perfect 5 every single time, that's 180, right? No, it's 140. Oh my god, my math is totally wrong. Uh, 140 score sorry okay so 140 score which means it should be relatively easy to cap out the score at 100 and so these progress bars basically just give you extra crystals so where do you use the crystals you use them on the next screen but first let's go into the count which is again so you're going to get 2800 crystals you're going to get 140 score which will cap this out the score doesn't give you anything but crystals and so you're looking at a max of 2800 plus these is um, 2600 so you can get 5400 crystals from this so you go ahead and you use those in this screen so every time you use a crystal or 100 crystal you get this ring and you get one item from this random uh, I don't know what the point of this is but you get one random item from from here as well so I got a keys and I just got I don't know what did I just get gold or something like that wasn't really paying attention uh, and then here I got a gold key so one random item and you can see that I'm stopping it I've got three uh, also you can see that I had oh no that I only have 14 points that's because I messed up twice because I was trying to figure out how the game worked so oh well anyway um, so you use them here so here you have a different progress bar so like I said you were gonna get about 5600 5400 so that'll get you to here which is a free five star and at 80 you get five red skin shards at 100 you get a six star fodder honestly these are nothing special so I don't think it's so bad to not worry about to worry about these if they put like a hero here maybe I'd be worried so you use those rings in this shop so once again going off that you're getting 54 for free potentially 54 if you never mess up you could get less 
So that puts you just out of range of the red can. But you are pretty much guaranteed a free Koshka or Jet Rascal Emir if you want it. So honestly, I think that this event is very good for like free to play because you're abs almost basically guaranteed a free Koshka, who is clearly the best of these four. But if you score a perfect 60, no, sorry, I have to go into this, the daily check-in event, which gives you another 600. So 54 plus 6 is a perfect 60. So if you get an absolutely perfect game, you can get an 80, 88 uh, damage artifact, but I would recommend you get the red can instead. So if you can reach the red can, take the red can. Otherwise, take Koshka, and then you can see at the top end, you've got the axe and all the heaven and hell and all that, but these are completely out of range for free to play. And so uh, worry about it if you're spending money. So to recap, it's 28 tries at this game, which is a potential max of 2,800 crystals. It's 2,600 crystals for logging in or for getting this perfect score. It's another 600 for checking in. And so that's a potential max of 60, 60 rings, 6,000 crystals or 60 rings, which can get you hopefully a red can. So you, you can see that you don't have to be perfect to get the red can. You can mess up quite a lot of times and still get this. But if you're obviously trying to spend a little money and get up here, then you know you better be as perfect as you can get. And that is pretty much all for the regular events. So let me go into the next next week. So we have Miracle Eye for Koshka. Okay, Koshka is a very, very good hero. She's proven to be extremely strong. So here we have, oh, we have Goblin Slayer back. It looks like Axe and Brynn are going to be in it. So this is going to be a great source of, a uh, great way to get the Axe if you can place in this. So this is looking to be a very useful event. Uh, we have Heroic Runes for Luna. And then we have these three artif- wait. No, this, this one is Luna Refinement. So these three are in these, the Moonstone Shop, Tears of the Goddess, Eternal Flame, and Eye of the Storm. So that is all for this week. See you guys next time.